All right, for our analytic today, we're going to use the use case, has my device stopped calling home? And is it starting to send logs? What if I have a whole bunch of universal forwarders and other machines sending in data? How do I know if one of them has stopped working? That's the principle. This can be used for so many things, and we're gonna keep doing a few of these analytics each of these this week, so you can see different ways of doing it. But I'm hoping you can see the principle here. It's pretty simple, so um, we're gonna walk you through it. Here is the full query I'm going to use. Just to make things easy, I'm gonna look at the internal. And I'm gonna use the source type Splunk D. So any device using Splunk D, that's gonna be your management stuff. Basically, if it's got Splunk on it, it's gonna send the stuff in. Your universal forward will send in its Splunk D logs, uh, et cetera. As long as uh, you've got your logs configured to send to uh, your central, that's all you gotta do. You'll have it. Um, but you could pick any log you want, depending on the use case. Anyway, I'm going to just grab I want to I grab put a source type of Splunk D because there are a lot of internal logs, and you'll actually write to all of these. But I wanted a relatively smaller set, so it doesn't take forever. And this is actually a good use case. I just had my uh, my system crash last week. Uh, my router went down, so I needed to uh, bypass my router. All my IPs got changed until I get my router back up. Anyway, so I changed my deployment server and I say changed my outputs. And for a while, I don't have these machines reporting in. And so they're actually at a very short amount of time they've been in here. But if I search a long period back, they're gonna reappear. So I've gotta keep my time frame really small because my system only went down two days ago. And so I'm basically looking at the gap between two days ago and a few hours ago when I got them back up. Anyway. I hope that makes sense. Uh, but you can use any time frame you want. It doesn't matter. I'm using a small time frame. Use a bigger time frame. Cool. All right. I'm going to go stats, min, time. What this is going to do, every log comes in and gets an underscore time field. If you put min in there, it's going to grab the smallest time. We all Time is actually stored as epoch time, meaning seconds that have passed since the year, I think, 1970. Anyway, it's a, it's amount of seconds that keep passing. And so the uh, each second that goes on in time, uh, an hour from now will be 3,600 seconds larger than it is right now. Time continues, the time field will continue to get bigger. So if you use the min, you're saying, hey, grab me the earliest time by host. So it's going to look at every host that comes back here and say, what was the first log I saw from you? So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to discover new systems. If I wanted to see uh, is a system not reporting in, I would flip this to max because I would want to know when was the latest I've seen an event from them. In my case, I want to know new systems that have popped up. And so I'm going to use minimum, but it, it just depends on what you're looking for. And then I just renamed it as first time because I want a nice little friendly field. Then I do, I need a time. I need to know what it is right now. So Splunk can do some math. So I just use this little built-in function now. And so I have an eval now time. And now I'm gonna have diff time, meaning difference in time between now and the first time I was seen. And so for example, if a log, just putting this in, if we had a system that reported in exactly one hour ago, that was the first time it sent a log, it's min time, would this first time would be, I'm just gonna make an arbitrary number, this is 1 million. We had a, the first log showed up 3,600 seconds ago, 60 seconds times 60 minutes equals 3,600. It would be 1 million minus 3,600, uh, 3, and that would be your diff time. Uh, and so it's just, doing a, it's just doing a number trying to see, hey, how big is this? And basically that's gonna tell you how many seconds have passed since it was set the criteria. In my case, when was the first time it was seen? And if you went max, it would be how long has it been since I've seen it? Uh, but anyway, so I'm hoping I'm, I'm making this clear. Uh, just try it a few times. If it doesn't make sense, it'll, it'll pop up. And then you're going to go where diff time. In my case, I'm going is less than 2400. I went with four hours. I said, you know what? I want to know any system that has popped up in the last 24 hours. Sorry, four hours, which four hours times 60 is 2,400. So I'm saying, hey, if the difference between now and the first time I saw it is less than 2,400, that means this system hasn't been up unless it's only been reporting home 
in the last four hours. So I have three systems. One of mine is the actual Splunk instance. I sure hope it's been reporting for a long time. And then these two systems that because due to my router going down, they couldn't reach out. And so they, they actually meet that criteria. If I wanted to know machines that are um, older, I would go greater than 2400 saying, hey, I want to know all the systems that have been, I've seen at least uh, four hours ago. I hit that, and it's going to flip my results. I'm going to actually see just my main server. It's the only one that was left. All the other machines didn't show up. You can flip this. Maybe you want to go say, um, I want to know anything over the last day. 86, 400. That's the amount of seconds in a day where diff time is greater than 86,400. This is basically saying, hey, all old systems, if I want to know any system, uh, so I want to know anything that's reported in the, uh, 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 anything that's reported in the last day, show that to me. And so you can just use your less than, greater than. If I go diff time is less than 86,400, that says, hey, the system has to be new within 86,400. And so if I were to try to find, again, I'm just going to try to, I know I'm going over this and over this. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. If I wanted to know, I've been watching, I have, I have thousands of systems, and I want to know if one has stopped reporting in. I would, in the last 24 hours, I'd flip this to max. So now I'm getting, hey, what's the latest event that's been sent in? It's going to be subtracted from time. And if that, if the time is greater then 86,400, that means I have not say, seen an event from this host in the last day. Show me who it is. And that'll, that'll bring back the machines that we haven't seen. And in my case, we should get back those two little machines because they, they didn't report. No, sorry, they, they'll be reporting. I won't have any systems that don't because all three of them are reporting in. My bad, sorry, I got that confused. All three of my systems, they've been reporting in. I don't have logs longer than that. If I went to one second, I still bet I'd have them just because they, they constantly, these log, they're constantly calling home. Oh, okay, in this case, it took, I got four seconds. So if I move this larger than four, this system would have fallen off. I've got some that take 16 seconds to send logs back. So if I move this to 24 seconds, I could lose some systems. But the concept is, all I'm doing is I'm just saying, hey, when was the last time I saw an event? And does it fit in this diff time? I hope this helps. I know this is one of my longer analytics. Um, I'm going to continue to send out the next couple of days. I'm going to show a few other ways to do this. Um, if you have questions about it, please write me. Uh, I have my Discord channel listed in this YouTube. I'm always open to answering questions when people ask me in Discord. I'll try to respond back to you on uh, comments below. This I have found to be a very useful query. A lot of people have asked it for me over the over the years. Um, anyway, I hope this helps. Hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a, a Splunk ninja. If this was useful. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know. Reach out to me if you've got any other analytics you want to see. Thanks so much. Have a great day.